Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested here at Bay Area Maker Fair. I got Brian Feldman here who is controlling this giant dinosaur robot named Tobor with, what is this on your arm? This is a repurposed Nintendo Power Glove that we put custom circuitry on to determine what the angle of accelerometers are on your wrist and forearm so we can raise and lower Tobor's head and body and then control the gripper as well. And we have a joystick so we can also drive them around. That is so awesome, it's so good. I, I want to talk about the robot first. Tobor the robot, it sounds like it was a collaboration uh, from a bunch of different makers at the makerspace you're from. Tell me about the makerspace and what goes into making this dinosaur. All right, well, our, our Fab Lab is based out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It's the Northampton Community College Fab Lab. And we uh, focus a lot on adult and community education. So our projects are generally put together by a group of instructors, as was Tobor. And we wanted to do Tobor as a project to showcase all the different things that we do, such as woodworking, machining, you know, styrofoam cutting, 3D printing, electronics, and laser cutting. You got sculpture aspects on the outside, mechanical aspects on the inside. It's a big machine. It, it is, yeah. And how many axes of movement did you put into it? Well, you can close and close the gripper, so there's one. You got one on the head, you got one on the body, and then you can, can you know drive it forward, backward, left and right. All right, so the drive system. Power Glove. It has uh, some bend sensors and they're using those as well? Yeah, we're using the, uh, the bend sensor in the index finger to determine whether you want to open or close the gripper. And then on top of that, you mentioned the joystick, uh, so, so my controller's on top. Uh, full control, every axis is controllable? Right, everything you can do with Tobor is controllable by the glove. And, and responsive? Oh, absolutely, I mean, as responsive as we can get. There's a lot of mass, a lot of momentum here, and you don't want it, you know, slamming too quickly or going into the ground or, you know, sucking up too much power, causing a voltage spike or voltage sag, which can cause problems with the electronics. How does it feel standing next to a giant machine and basically puppeting it this close to you? Because this is, this is a big thing. Right, it's twice as tall as the average human being, so it, it is a little bit awe-inspiring in some sense, but we've you know, demonstrated so many places, we're kind of used to it by now. We, we have moving tow board down to a science, taking it apart. You know, you could take the, the head off, the body off, remove the arms, and generally we transport it in a minivan. So I drove it 4,000 miles from Pennsylvania to get here, you know, over a couple of days, and saw a couple of national parks and other things along the way. How fitting for a dinosaur. Absolutely. That's awesome. Uh, what's next for the Fab Lab? What other projects are you looking forward to in the future? Uh, well, one other project we've done uh, subsequent to Tobor is over here. It's the uh, pneumatic Goblies cannon, throwable paintball cannon. And we've also been discussing a drivable couch. A drivable couch. Hopefully yeah. we'll be able to see that drive 4,000 miles cross country yeah. at a future Maker Fair. It's so nice to meet you, Brian. Absolutely. Thank you very much. It was nice meeting you too.